Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. For those of you that haven't seen any of my videos or don't know, I'm a really huge fan of this guy. Man, I miss Christopher Reeve. He was such a great actor and director. Before we get into what's in the box, let's wind the clock back a little bit because there's a backstory and considering we're going to clock in at under six minutes, I think we have the time. So over the past few months, I've been converting my uh, Adams Family ALP 4K into a Superman-themed machine. Um, I've been documenting the process, posting videos like this, and I happen to post the, one of them over at Unofficially Unofficial. And uh, Bill Carpenter says, you know, you need a rock of kryptonite for your plunger knob. I said, cool. You know, where should I go? All that other stuff. And he says, hit up 3D arcade design. And I'm paraphrasing, obviously. Um... And I'm remembering, like, when I went to the site, I'm like, oh, yeah, I ordered an Adams Family cup holder from them. So I spoke to Matthew over there, and I let him know what I was looking for, and it was a really great experience. He sent me some proofs over a couple days. We talked about the kryptonite plunger. There was a little concern that it might be a little rough or uncomfortable or sharp. And I said, you know what? I'll be a guinea pig, man. Just I'll, I'll send it on over. So I paid for all the stuff, and... After maybe two days or so, boom, it was on my doorstep. And now we can run the clock forward here and get into what's in the box. So inside the box here that's very expertly packed is the uh, kryptonite uh, plunger there. And as we pull the paper out, you'll see that we have uh, a left and a right Superman cup holder. They're uh, extremely well made. Uh, they feel great in my hands, got some weight to them, definitely not thin or cheap in any way. Um, but even, you know, picking these up and, and looking at them and, and looking at the front, that's not a sticker there. That's actually a 3D printed Superman logo. Like I said, feels great, nice and smooth. Really, really happy with how these came out. And uh, we'll get those installed in a few minutes. But uh, before we do that, you know, I want to show off the the plunger handle here too. So you'll notice that it, the the cylinder inside the handle, it actually is two pieces. So you pull it out and you'll know, pull it apart and well, I'll show you all that in a few minutes here. But just again, really, really sturdy, very happy with how it came out. So we'll go ahead and in install it here. So as he said, it comes apart, it's in two pieces. The nut kind of locks it in together. So you just kind of hold it together. Then you grab the other end, you slide it in there, uh, and you just kind of line uh, everything up, um, which for me was a little difficult. So I grabbed uh, just a small screwdriver and uh, kind of wiggled it around a little bit so we can line up the hole. Then you just really just straight up drop the screw in and uh, that's it. I mean, it's nice and easy. Now, his concern was, you see at the top there, there's like that little sharp piece. Um, it's not really all that sharp. Uh, it kind of juts out a little bit, but again, it feels great in my hands. It's not sharp. Uh, there's nothing to worry about here. Uh, so we'll just tighten it up here real quick. But again, really happy with how this came out. Matthew did a bang up job on these. So plunger, or excuse me, plunger, cup holder. Uh, the cup holder was pretty easy. Balanced the uh, uh, pinball machine on my knee, pulled the, the pins out or the, the um, screws, whatever the hell they're called, <laughs> the screws out here. And, uh, you know, just pull them out, put them back in and that's it. You know, test everything, make sure everything's sturdy, but uh, nice and easy. And then came the test of, what fits in there. So the cans fit great. Um, bottles fit great. The pint glass that I'm going to drop in here though is, is a little shaky. Um, it doesn't go all the way down. Not a big deal. Still very sturdy in there. I would just suggest if you're going to put a pint glass in there that you don't really fill it up all the way. So that's it. That's the finished product right there. Uh, so yeah, this was a, a quick one. So what do you guys think? Uh, I think it looks great. I'm really happy with these. Um, if there's something else that you could, you think I should do or you have any feedback, please let me know in the comments. 
Uh, before I end the video, though, I really would like to thank Matthew over at uh, 3D Arcade Designs and Bill Carpenter for the suggestion. Um, if you like what you saw here, please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, just want to say thanks for stopping by. And as always, stay safe, be well. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. Take care.